Yeah, yeah like yeah. you haven't lived until you've <laughs> pump faked a bull. Yeah, but they go for the first step like nothing. Like you're basically Allen Iverson to every every bull that's ever existed. I swear to God, shut up! I'll kill you all. Funny that you've tangled successfully with so many fierce animals, and yet you've met your match in these tiny little dogs in the. <laughs>
it's a prickly gecko. Are you actually familiar with geckos work? They're not mm. like the ones in the insurance commercial. Yeah, I they feel are. like I've seen a few. They're pretty similar to the one in the in the commercial. I get granted they don't talk about insurance. Mm -hmm. Thank God. They're louder and more annoying than the one in the commercial. I've been to islands and stuff where they're on the wall. Yeah. And at first I was like, there's a lizard in the Iguanas room. Iguanas and stuff? Nah, nah, a gecko. Um, a guana in the room? Nah, I'm not cool. As an outback kid, a, a, no. A guana in the, in, the, in the room, he needs to get out before I go to bed. Yeah. Gecko, no worries. Okay. But still, at first, I had to make an adjustment because I was like, that is a lizard on the wall. I don't trust that lizard, which is weird because what could the lizard really do? If it, even if it was like a, let's say it was an evil lizard and it actually worked for Geico and was like, I'm going to kill Jason in his sleep. Yeah. Could you? Yeah. I do like how you went straight to worst case scenario. That is good. But also, I mean, even if they don't kill you, it's, I just don't want him on me. Okay. So that's because, okay, let's, let's boil it down because that's what I'm saying. When it gets on you, yeah. what can it do? Just a walk along my body without my permission. Okay, now you're making it like it's having sexual advances on you, and and I don't think it's... I think I'd be fine if I invited it onto my arm, you know, but un um without me knowing it's gonna happen, right? Is there and somebody I in the kitchen? I'm gonna so. kill them. And I can strike a middle ground between what the two of you are saying, because Jason, you go to the worst case scenario of it can't. She's going pretty bad too. She's I saying know, no, it's you, trying no. to. Oh, we're going to get to her. It, 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 I know that if push comes to shove, I can kill it before it kills me. Yeah. I see your point. I understand it. You don't want it walking No, that's actually a calming thing people do. Like, oh, what is the worst case scenario? I'd be fine. Right. Yeah, because yeah. once you figure out yeah. if I can't, I could kill it, it can't kill me, yeah. then it can be on me. Yeah. I had, a real, I had a crazy encounter when I was a little kid. I used to like get scared at night and I'd go in my mummy's room. As my mum was divorced or whatever, so whatever it would only happen in my mum's. I couldn't, I wouldn't go to my dad's bedroom. I kind of know why now, but I never would when I was a kid. But when I was at my mum's house, I would go in, and one night I went in and I went to sleep next to her, and I woke up in the morning and there was a huntsman on my chest, and a huntsman is it looks like a tarantula, but it's everyone oh. in Australia. Oh, oh, oh mate, right, mate, they're not poisonous, so it's nothing to worry about. But when you're like eight. And it's, that's... It's just shocking, too. Yeah. So it was on my chest. And when I woke up, I was looking at it. And it was looking at me. And I was too scared to move or say anything. So I would pro realistically, it was probably about two minutes. But to me, it was like hours. That's a horror movie right Yeah, now. where I was looking at it, it was looking at me. And I was like, oh, oh. And then finally, my mom woke up and flicked it off. And it, oh. I got arachnophobia from it. I would too, yeah. And then I got cured later on when I moved to America. I had some friends. That pretty much, that's what I saw. <laughs> that's what was looking at me. <laughs> yeah, that was not cool. So then I had some friends that were like, I lived in a house of skateboarders. And they figured out that I didn't like spiders because one like ran near me and I freaked out. And they were like, check out a Australian guy flinches with spiders. So then they would put them on me all the time and put them in my bag. Put it like beetles like they just put insects on me all the time to the point where i got so sick of it exposure thing of, of, flinch, of flinching that i was like you know what who cares and then in a roundabout way it kind of cured me and then one day i leave the house and one drops out of the door and i'm like whoa and i'm like what the <laughs> hell and it was in america so it wasn't it could have been poisonous i don't know what it was then i get in my car and i had like a old beat up truck and when I was dri went to drive in a car, one fell out of the windshield in front of me, almost made me crash the car. And I get out of the car like, ah, ah, freaking out. And then when I go back to the house, another one dangles down. So three spiders in attacked me in one day, live ones. And I was like, okay, I took it personal. And I was like, right, obviously you guys have like a some sort of personal vendetta against me. And that's when I added up. I was like, how big are you and how big am I? Next time you do that, it's on. Like, I'm not flinching and I'm going to kill you. And if you have a parent or anybody around, because I'm assuming it's a kid, <laughs> I'm going to kill your mother. And you need to send that message to the rest of them that it is on. You mess with Jason, Jason kills your whole family. And then after I killed several spiders, they didn't kill me. They didn't come at me anymore. Whoa, it was like spiritual warfare. Spiritual? Yeah. What's it? 
Three in one day? I feel like that is... It's a sign. That's that's bizarre. Three in one day appearing from above? The one in the car was particularly bad because I had to like stay in the car until I pulled over and it was like deep no! coming at me and I was like, oh, 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 trying to stop the car and, then, and not have it get on me. And then how's this one? When I was older and I used to smoke weed all the time, I'd go back to Australia and nobody in Australia was a pro skateboarder. Only I was. So when I'd go back to Australia to hang out with my friends, they had jobs. So I didn't want to... I would just hang out at their house and smoke weed until they come home because I don't want to skate by myself. I, I got on stuff. Australia was so boring. But at one point I was sitting <laughs> watching TV and it was like real bad TV too because it was before cable. So it was just this dude, Bert, Noten, Bert Newton, on three different TV shows. Like now he's the entertainer. Now he's the weather guy now. And I'm like, oh my God, I hate Bert Newton. And I'm sitting there with the bong and I'm, I'm watching the Bert Newton for the 17th time today. And I feel, I got my legs open like this and I f see legs on the inside of my thigh. And I'm looking at the TV and I see him in my peripherals and I'm like, nah. And I look down and I'm like, you gotta be joking me. <laughs> like this size, like coming up the inside of my thigh. And I was like, I don't have any. And I just went, I got, I got to put hands on it. I got to put a hand on it. So I did like a, as quick as you can grab and throw like, ah! Yeah, and, then, yeah. ah, ah! and then I ran out of the house and ripped my shirt off and pulled my pants off. And then I was out the front of the house with no pants on. And there was a neighbor that was hosing his garden. And he was looking at me like, what's wrong with you? Know what I mean, like, what's wrong with you? I was pretty embarrassed. <laughs> Did you tell him the spider was up Yeah, but nest? I don't think he believed me because I look like, uh, I mean, like I, I, sn oh. I snorted bath salts, you know? <laughs> so it's like... Well, I, you were telling the truth, so... I know, but it, you know when you... You don't because you look normal. <laughs> I, this is the problem when you look like me and you have a reaction to stuff. And I go, look, it was a spider. They're like, sure, bath salts guy. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, probably, <laughs> you know, Blair, fair enough. Have you had any wild animal encounters? Well, it's, I actually just saw a tarantula in front of my parents' house the other day. A wild one. Yeah, wild one. And I hadn't seen one in year maybe since I was a kid. My parents live in kind of like a rural. Where's this? Like Brazil? Orange County, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they in Orange in, County? Yeah. Has tarantulas? Yeah, they, yeah. And uh, that was pretty crazy. I was really grossed out. Those, mother oops, uh, don't cuss. Uh, they're really hairy. Where was Harry it? Very and big. It was on their uh, porch. Whew. Yeah. Tarantulas are poisonous, right? They uh, are? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm led to believe. Yeah. Oh, they the are? One? I didn't know that. What was the one that didn't? Me that's on... like the whole, that's our whole shtick. Wait a minute. What was the one that I let bite me on the show when we were on satellite radio? That was a tarantula. Maybe maybe they could take the poison sacks out because they'll like let kids. I was going to say, I associate them, them at, with like kids parties and I never thought they were poisonous. <laughs> now I, I know they're just poisonous. Nice ones to the Macone, are we Whoa. Googling the information? Yeah, it's right there. Look at it. Oh, rare occurrence. So it's rare. Because yeah. I did this, we had a show where if you did something bad, then you had to pet a predator. Uh-huh. And it was like a box with like an angry like lizard or a snake On or this? something. Yeah, but this is when we were on satellite radio and we had like a budget and stuff. We were way more significant. And, and at the time, at the time we had like people would come in because there's millions of people listening. So we had like a pet guy that had like crazy pets and he had a tarantula that when I put my hand near the glass in there, he was like, he'd be like, <gasps> and get ready. And you knew, you knew like if your hand He's touches the off. ground in there, he runs over and bites you straight up guaranteed. And I remember like the fear of it's more of him cocked and ready to go because it's like a big hairy guy same with the snake because one time i got bit by an eight foot anaconda no you were... didn't yeah yeah what why how because, because okay i'll try to do it fast but <gasps> so i had a friend that he a guy called in a south african crazy guy donald schultz is his name and he donald slept schultz. with like uh, he was slept in a glass house mm. in the mall for like four days with all poisonous snakes and I was like, what a crazy guy. And the guy was like, let me come in and I'll, you know, I mean, I'll, I'm from South Africa and I'll come in and I'll have some snakes. And I was like, yeah, bring your snakes in. And he pulled one out of like just a normal size snake. He pulled it out of a pillowcase and put it over the counter. And I was like, oh, and I grew up like around poison snakes, but I would never mess with. I was never like, let's kick the snake. I was like always pretty 
like respectable respectful i was like that's a snake i'm not gonna mess with that you know so then he put this one over the ta on the table in front of me and i froze and then everybody that were like jason's from australia like he's super scared of snakes and i was like i think i realized that i'm also very scared of snakes and i was desperate for attention i really wanted the show to get ratings and i was like if i i called him that night and i go hey man do you have like a really big snake that would actually bite me and he's like oh yeah and Aww. i was like bring it in and i'll let it bite me and he brought in an eight foot anaconda and there was three guys holding him and they were like this guy is angry like as soon as you put your hand out near him he's going to attack so for the radio it wasn't even on video i think i did film it but nobody watches before youtube cared i'd be i'd be off it anyway but i remember they're all holding him and i put my hand out like that like my arm out like that and he go he goes and does the coil thing like he's gonna shoot and snap like in cartoons yeah yeah and i was like i can't believe because I, I just remember thinking i i just want to be famous you know what i mean i was desperate I, I need attention you know what i mean like i didn't get attention when i was a kid or something and i was like i'm and I, i'm okay with like pain and I've faced my fears if I have to. And I was really terrified, but I was like, this will be, you're not, cha I can remember thinking, there's no way you're going to change a channel until this guy bites me. So I remember like being super terrified and then whack, he jumps on. And I, when he, when he wrapped on, I was like, oh, f fear of the snake biting me was way worse than the actual pain of the teeth on my arm. But then he started to grab this part of my arm and started to try and rip the bit that he was biting onto and then that's when the other two guys like unraveled him off me but then i had like uh his teeth but bits of his teeth broke in my hand and i had this little cool infection like shoehorn of like where he bit me and like these weird little like but it wasn't poisonous right nah, nah. oh my god that's but horrible then, but then that guy became my friend and the guy and the snake and then the snake bit me on the back of the neck once while i, I held somebody's it doesn't matter but and then another time for espn magazine i went in the pool with him and had to hold him underwater <gasps> yeah no yeah and scream and there was a scream issue so i had to scream while i was holding the snake and then after that he bit me hey everybody it's jason ellis of the jason ellis show do you like food sorry i gotta do that all the time factor meals look maybe you're married and maybe you have a beautiful wife that loves preparing meals. Maybe you're a chef and you don't need this. But if you're like me and you live alone and you like food and you don't like cooking, because I don't like cooking. I don't even like chopping up tomatoes. It's so easy, but I don't want to do it. Factor meals come to your house in a box cold. And then you take them out of the box and you put them in your fridge and then when you're hungry, you take it out of your fridge and you put it in your microwave for two minutes. Two minutes. And in two minutes, you rip the, th the thing, the seal thingy oh, completely off because you already did poke a hole in it because I've done that. And then you just eat it. And then here's an even better part for all you uh, useless dudes like me. <laughs> you don't wash it. It's the bowl. It, you just put that in the trash. And that's it. You have eaten. You can now go about your life and kick goals. Head to factormeals.com slash Ellis50. Use the code Ellis50 and get 50% off. That's code Ellis50 at factormeals.com slash Ellis50 to get 50% off. That's basically half. Thank you, Factor Meals. <laughs> well, I'm just glad you're alive. Yeah. Like your shirt says, not dead yet. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you that was a lot of snake attacks that I just didn't know about. Yeah. That was one after the other snake attack. I don't want to do it, I just wanted attention. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so afraid of snakes. If there's a if there's a spider, I'll I'll be like the man and go get it. Yeah, like hand on looks No, like. I'll get a paper towel. Okay, okay. I'm not I don't need to be a hero. You won't grab it. Yeah. What about when you see those little itty bitty snakes in the airplane? Would you grab that? Snakes in the you airplane? You've never seen a snake in a plane recently? Not like in the movie. Like there was. A I snake. didn't watch that movie on purpose. 
No, it was, was in like Malaysia or something, uh, somewhere close to there. This it was is... like a worm. Okay. It's like this big. Okay. The, 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 the flight attendant was like trying to scoop it into a bag. Yeah. And I'm oh. like, you can just grab it. <gasps> yeah. I guess you got to do it in that situation because you don't know where it will go in the yeah. confined space. But when I see snakes hiking in LA, I hate it. You hate it? Yeah, I hate it. We don't hit it though. No, it's so far as where I run. I you ever run see a rattler out fast there? Fast as hell. Yeah, I've seen rattlers. I grew up around them. <coughs> My dad would have to kill the uh, kill it with the shovel. Uh, put the shovel. Yeah. Okay. That's which risky. which part of Orange County are you from? Tarantula killing rattlesnakes with your bare hands. <laughs> yeah, is it like a Town. big mountain that we're not aware of? Is <laughs> it's it like, like kind of Mount Tito Ortiz or something. Uh, San Juan Capistrano, San Clemente area, is where okay, I go. Okay, San Clemente. So, so Ryan Sheckler's world uh, yeah sort of but um where richard more... nixon's from uh he i grew up in That's san capistrano than... but there's like a lot of brush around us like a lot of animals a lot of um yeah snakes cool. and stuff do you have a farm or do you have horses no don't have horses just do you have like acres no but it's just like near there there's like do you have like a just a big backyard or a mediocre backyard a medium it's a good backyard yeah but there, there would be like, there's still coyotes all the time. There's like spiders. There's oh yeah, we got coyotes here. Snakes. Yeah, there's coyotes. coyotes. Huh? There's coyotes. <laughs> yeah. in John um... Wayne over here. <laughs> Freaking coyotes. Dude, I used to live right under the Hollywood sign. Yeah. And like when the sun went down, seeing them was like a little Shut eerie up! because like the way that their light, their eyes light up. It, you know, if you if you uh, put the fly, uh, flashlight on them or whatever. But even worse is if you're inside your house and they just as a pack slowly yeah. make their way down the hill and they collectively make that like weird creepy noise that yeah, they make. Yeah, they are little though. They're, they're pretty small. Yeah. I had a pug. Coyotes ate it. <gasps> That's sad. We had a bunch of cats get eaten. It I was cried. really sad. I was really drunk and I was on tour and my girlfriend called me and said a pug? A coyote That's just so ate Grimy because that was my pug's name. Grimy. And I was like what's a coyote? And then somebody that was standing there was like, wait, you don't know what a coyote wait. is? And I'm like, well, no, I don't. And they're like, yeah, man, they're everywhere. And I'm like, they are? I'm like, I don't. And apparently it ran away with him. Oh, that's so sad. That yeah. That was my best friend. Yeah, that ha that happens a lot. It's really sad. I was going to, I wanted to kill coyotes. This is like a thing that I've learned from shark hunters. When I found out that a coyote killed my pug, I was friends with Red Dragons and they had a skate shop and then we offered like if you bring in a dead coyote we'll give you skate stuff you know what I mean so I was like kill all the coyotes in San Diego uh huh and then I met a guy that this was, is an actual offer that you made to the general public I can I don't, I, I don't wish to to elaborate but yeah maybe the I mean statue, now I feel like you both I'm grew sure up in the, the old I'm sure the statute of limitations is up um yeah. it is sort of I mean like payback you know? I mean, even in LA, like I live by Griffith Park, and I've seen coyotes not in the park, like nearby, where I'm like, oh, they cross like a pretty busy street. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've heard, I've heard <laughs> howling and stuff around here. Yeah, Dude, there's signs for coyotes outside of my daughter's school in Culver City. Yeah, they're taking yeah. over, and then you hear about the birds take little dogs and yeah. cats sometimes too <gasps> i saw a video of a bald eagle carrying a full-size deer the other I saw day that. That you was did badass. i couldn't believe it the deer but still pretty badass yeah but it was wild i was like i didn't know they could do that when i take my bearded dragon out in the backyard he gets a little paranoid and i'm like that's pretty that's rightfully so yeah like somebody could probably fly away with you oh he has like the I, like he always looks up when birds fly over him because he's yeah. ready to tuck and roll. <gasps> oh, okay. yeah, that's a bad outcome for a deer. But how many good outcomes are there for deer? <laughs> I just what do you mean? That. What about just being in the pasture with your buddies? How about that for a good idea? They get shot. They get that. They don't all get shot. Sometimes many they just them... eat berries and stuff. And they're like they bone and like take poopies and like go to sleep under trees and stuff. And I just they... did not know like what was the grab. Oh, there's the grab. I'm like, how? Did, what was the process of? Oh, uh, look how cute that freaking deer is. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What is that bird called? That's a golden eagle. Or uh, an eagle. Like, the, look how the eagle looks giant there, though. It actually looks way bigger than the deer. Its legs are sense. like leggier than I expected them to be. Is that just the feathers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, those are meteor legs than I thought, too. Man, they do that to a lot of guys. Whoa. Deers are kind of stupid. Like, I don't want to... If I was a deer and you were an eagle, I would... You would not get me. Same with me. I would... My ass would be staying on the ground. I yeah. know kamikaze. You're not getting you me. You know what animals don't know? 
pump fakes. Yeah. Because uh, I you ever dodged a bull? I <laughs> no. A I love. <laughs> you haven't dodged a bull, I take it. I've never been bitten by an anaconda. Come on, you're a stand up comedian. You I've never dodged, dodged a bull. A bull. No, not they yet. Go, they bite on the first but, step. I it's... mean, have you boxed a bear? Have you done anything? No, I yeah, haven't. Like, you haven't lived until you've <laughs> pump faked a bull. Yeah, but they go for the first step like nothing. Like you're basically Allen Iverson to every every bull that's ever existed. I swear to God, shut up! I'll kill you all. Funny that you've tangled successfully with so many fierce animals, and yet you've met your match in these tiny little dogs. In the <laughs> have <kitchen>. I? <laughs> They shut up. Yeah, but one time, a couple of times, actually, I dodged a bull. But I've seen it on TV where you go this way and then you go the other way and they just go for the first step. But then one time I was doing this TV show. You know Sam Tripoli? Yeah, I know. Love I love Sam him. Tripoli. So Sam and myself and this other uh, real fighter guy, Kit Cope, we got picked for this really dumb TV show. I was like, we're not going to, this is not going to be a TV show. It was so stupid. We shot the pilot. I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And then they were like, you got 13 episodes. And I was like, really? So dumb. And then they go this today. We're going to play football with baby bulls. And I was like, oh, baby bulls. Cool. And then I get out of the RV and I walk, start walking towards the, like the caged area. And there's this bull to me, look like a bull baby, my ass. And it's like, and I'm like, I don't see no fence. And it's like a hundred feet away. And it's like walking towards me. And I'm like, I look around. I'm like, does anybody know about this? That's a bull. There's no fence. And then he sees me and starts picking up speed. And I'm like, nah, because I just got out of the car. There's no way. Like, yeah. this is an organized TV show. And I'm like, there's no fence. And then he gets closer and closer. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this is for sure a bull. And he's ramming me. And, and then when he got close, I took a step that way and he goes for it. And I went the other way. And like, boom, went past me. And I was like, Psh. juked his ass. Yeah. And then they were like, that guy got us. He escaped. That was, he could have mauled you because then when we filmed the show, then they put like this leather padding on their horns, but that guy had no padding. Yeah. So I, I could have died. You could have been gored. It would have been cool when I think about it. Cause I didn't make any money from that TV show, but if I had got gored from that bull, I would have. Right. Oh, dude, you could have put Spike out of business like six months sooner. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you would have had to have signed a pretty good Spike. waiver if no one, if they just let the the bull run free. It like was pretty that. jank. It was wow. like a really, I mean, they hired us. Yeah. They were pretty stupid from the get-go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so have you always sounded like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. You know what's funny is like, I'm a little sister of older brothers, and I had been made fun of. I mean, for I'm not making fun every, of you. No, no, for everything there ever was, and no one had ever said anything about my voice ever. Did I, you, do your brothers or relatives have it? <laughs> no, you're the only one. <laughs> Is this but a genetic I never condition? Knew it was like Did no one said like, a word chop until you in the I started one time or something. No, nothing until I started comedy. Did anyone even like say that I had a weird voice? I didn't say it was weird. I just, well, we it's said it different. Was, yeah, it says something, yeah. It is so I, I didn't notice. I genuinely had no idea until I started comedy. Can you sing? No. You should. I can sing, like, I can, uh, like melody and rhythm, but I don't have any, um, like, the only thing I can sing is, like, Blondie, you know? Ooh, but that, that means you can sing everything. You just like Blondie. No, I can't. Like, I've tried to sing other things, and I just don't have the power in my voice. Like, my voice is power. so brittle. Yeah. yeah but it's like Rod Stewart, but like a girl. Maybe. I don't know. What's Rod Stewart? Have I told you? What is, how's that go? Well, he got, yeah. have I told you lately? Yeah, that, that I, I love, love you. you. Do that. <laughs> is that all you think that I love sound? Touch. Do that. Love touch. <laughs> Yeah. Is that how I sound? No. Like Rod but I imagine, <laughs> Whispering? I imagine if you sing that you would. I would love if I was an amazing singer. I would I think quit you comedy are, you in don't a know second. It. I would look. I wish for that. I would. Uh, you know what a relief it would be to be sincere. It would be incredible. I would love to be a singer. Uh, just like sincerely singing instead of being a comedian. You know. Yeah, but you could do both. Well, yeah. I mean, there's like were you incredibly... the singers are always like, you know, doing their little jokes in between. But yeah. 
Yeah, well, that would be, you'd be exceptionally funny in between songs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, now I just need to learn how to sing. You could, uh, you could. <laughs> a Rod Stewart with jokes, you'd be unstoppable. <laughs> you would be. A female Rod Stewart with humor, wow. Yeah. And that... you could wear those shorts, I guess it wouldn't do the same thing. Yeah. Remember how he had those shorts? Um, he was not... a soccer player, so he used to wear like oh, super short sure. shorts. Oh, sure, okay. And I think he was like. Oh, a... right. Now he that used... ain't it. He used to, wear... yeah, that ain't it. He used to wang out hard. Cool. That's not even it. Yeah. <laughs> and yet that's pretty yeah, that's bad. Just, that's just a day at the beach for Rod Stewart. I met him once. You did? Why? Where? At a toy store. Oh, he where? Did. Beverly Hills. We were at the toy store. I used to be rich. <laughs> I was like on satellite radio, so uh -huh. I was like rich. And I was at the Beverly Hills toy store buying rich kid toys for my uh -huh. rich kids. And Rod Stewart was there being rich too. And I was like, son of a bitch. You said Rod hi to Stewart. him? Yeah, I was like, Rod Stewart, you're awesome. You if know. I see a famous like, person, I never say anything. Yeah, but it's certain people. See, this is Rod Stewart. My stepmom took a photo with Rod Stewart, but she didn't even take a photo with him. My dad took a photo of Rod Stewart with my stepmom in the background. And I remember like the photo being on the wall. Oh, and yeah. I was, like, I was like, wait, I you didn't just say... Rod, baby, can I take a photo? Like, yeah. you just did a you did a sniper photo, which made me realize how much she must have looked up to Rod Stewart. Yeah, and she never. This is not her fault, but I don't think she really respect. I was a turd of a child, you know, and and for me to say hello to Rod Stewart and then tell her that I met Rod Stewart. It, I don't know. It was to me that was the main reason that I went over to oh, him. Oh yeah. Because I was like, I'm gonna to tell, tell my stepmom that yeah. I shook hands with. Was she happy? Uh, yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That generation, it's so hard. It's like you could just tell them, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm up for the Nobel Prize. So like, oh, really? She, the yeah. plants are coming in good this year, the and coolest... they don't even mean it. You know, they're not even trying to shine you, yeah. which is why it hurts so much. She did say I was cool because I'm friends with Pink, and then Pink, I got tickets for my stepmom. And my brother, we they lost my my little half brother. Her son died, <gasps> and I got she picked tickets to Pink, and Pink got VIP passes, and then Pink spoke to my stepmom backstage, like heart to heart. Oh, like, that's so sweet. So that that I believe that one made me cool. Aww. I believe that one where she was like, okay, Jace. <laughs> not such a turn that's so after sweet. All. Yeah. I like hearing stories about um, celebrities being nice she's pink is i don't want to say her real name but whatever she's the i don't know yeah i do you know what i do know a lot of famous people she is by far the most real deal i mean i've never met evander holyfield because he's the real deal but i assume that pink is realer than the real deal evander holyfield i remember when his ear got bitten off i was watching he it handled live. that well don't you think yeah because i would have snapped dude i mean he did snap a little bit yeah. but i would have been like when the little the little ref was like, okay, keep going. I'd Mills be like, Lane. yeah, right, keep going. Like, I'm first soccer kick to the balls and then repeated knees to the head. Like, this is no longer a boxing match. He ate me, bro. <laughs> you can't eat me and then I'm going to be cool. You know? Yeah, that was wild. You ever had fight, have a fight? A fight? Yeah. No, no. One time my brother, uh, this guy grabbed my butt and my brother fought five guys <laughs> at once. And I turned around and looked like I didn't even know what was happening. And then I went and I like got a running start and I like pushed a guy. Yeah. And then my brother got so mad at me and yelled at me. He's like, you never get in the middle of a fight, you know? Um, sounds like a really good brother. He is, but I mean, it, a fight was very unnecessary, but he did quite well. Yeah, but he defended well. your honor. Yes, but it really wasn't How a big he deal. He Lit he won. Yeah, h hardcore. Shout out to that. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what do you mean? Like they're like piled on top of each other, like in a cartoon, or no? It was no, like five guys in like a circle. Like yeah, it was... and he punched them all in the face, and they yeah. all gave up. <laughs> yeah. My brother's hardcore, but we were young also. So yeah, I respect that. Many, 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 many years ago, you were in sports. I was. Yeah. What kind of sports were you in? Well, my main sport, I played volleyball. I played volleyball my whole life, and then in college at UCLA. Um, Do you have to be tall to play that? Yeah. You're that, not that tall. No, I'm not tall. So were you like a go get you fast? Yeah, and I could really jump high. What I, happened? I used to have a 28 inch vertical. Um, I was, I don't know, it was just like natural. I worked really hard, but 
I don't play volleyball anymore. To um, blow an Achilles or something? Like, you can't jump like that no more? No, I mean, I still work out a lot. I'm sure if I really trained hard, I could jump. But I'm not doing anything that requires me to jump. If um, we play basketball right now, you think you'd get a jump shot off on me? Uh, I'm not very good at basketball. I didn't Neither play. Neither am I from Australia. What the hell? <laughs> Who do you uh, think could jump and touch a higher spot on the wall you were he's got a few inches on you but I'm i don't sure think you have, him definitely. i don't think you have a 28 inch vertical with, i don't nah, yeah i don't know what it would be now who knows it'd be more it'd be fairer if it was who is the highest off the ground lowest part of the body yeah sure with straight legs yes you know what i mean just pure vertical yeah because yeah, i'm yeah. i would assume, I would assume you win. <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know. I played everything. I I always wanted to play football when I was a kid. Football? Yeah. You want to smash chicks? No, I just played flag. I'd play with the boys like in school and I surfed. I played tennis. I did a bunch of different things. You ever get barreled? Uh, I longboarded, but a little. Yeah. You didn't get barreled. On I mean, like board. I would I, it was I was really young when I was surfing, so How I didn't old? get into the, like ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. So then I I was also pretty afraid of big waves. Did you surf? No, I just started recently. I'm really bad. Oh I'm really? I'm a pro skateboarder from yeah, Australia. Yeah, I knew I knew that. With my background, I would have to say that I'm the worst surfer I've ever seen. Well, I bet you could if you really wanted to. I bet you could pick it up really quick. It's paddling. Yeah. That I don't do. Yeah. Well. Like, once I'm in the wave, I can use my skateboard ability to, like, balance and go. Yeah. But it's reading when the wave's going to go, where to be, and all that paddling stuff. I went to a, to Kelly Slater's wave, and I got tired paddling over to the wave there. Yeah. And they, they tow you over to it. Yeah. I got arm pump one time, so I tried to paddle over by myself. I know. The paddling is gnarly. It makes it sometimes you're just like, oh, this isn't worth it. I'm yeah. sick of this. Or when you paddle out, and it's like, that was emotional. And then it's like, oh, here comes a set. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I need like 20 <laughs> minutes to recover from the armpit pump. Yeah. I don't really surf anymore. I don't at all. Uh, yeah. It's I, a young man's game. Nah, I reckon it's an old, I reckon it's one of the best old like you got if you put in enough rent it's kind of like golf if you put in enough rent at the start then even your old like decrepit ass can still get barreled because i've seen old guys ripping waves because yeah. they know that's the other thing i've seen a fat old guy we're paddling next to each other and i'm like does he got an engine in his board like what is that because <laughs> there's a technique yeah and i'm, I'm you know I mean like splashing around like an engine turtle and I can't get anywhere. And some dudes are just like, ew. And then they're just on the wave. Some dudes don't even paddle. They just yeah. like do something with their nose and then they just get up. And I'm like, what the? I want to learn that. Yeah. So it's I, like skateboarding. Like I can skate now and I'm fi in my 50s. But it's because I paid my dues when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to. I don't want to do it. And now I live That's on the east one. side. Like I don't want to. Oh, go all dry that long get in a wetsuit be freezing you know and if i'm not doing it a lot then you're like shitty when you go yeah instead of when you're going a lot and it's that. fun I you hate know sucking at yeah. stuff that i was already good at yeah same it's like and then p even if they don't know that i and was and you're good like but it, i know i yeah i know that i used to shred mm -hmm. and now it's like people like you know i remember when i first started skating again i'd do like a couple of grinds and somebody'd be like yeah ellis and i'd almost be like shut the like, yeah. Shut up. You yeah. Know, I, I used to. Sh <laughs> this was this was nothing back in the day. Like, how dare you compliment me on that? Yeah. Piece of crap grind that I just did. Yeah. It's not cool. <laughs> you scared of sharks? Uh, yes. I mean, it's not like something I think about really that I've worried about. But if I thought I so if if I thought someone was by me, I would lose my shit. Right. But it's like if you were in the water and someone said shark, and you saw the fin, what would you do? Well, I know what I. You know, you're not supposed to like turn and kick really hard. I like you. But, but would but do you know? I'm yourself? not sure if I would be able to be still. You're being so honest right now. What would you do? Would you not? Would you swim away or would you face it? I face it because you have Hell to punch yeah. them. That's what's up, brother. I mean, what well, you have two choices. I'd probably have if I didn't die of a heart attack first. Right. Of from. I love the honesty because you got to put that in there because it is an option. Yeah. If Die I, of a heart attack or <laughs> swim away and give him your toes. He's going to eat your legs, man. Everybody knows that's what he's going to do. You're giving him a leg dinner. 
Yeah. Or you come in head first because this is the way I see it, man. If you eat my legs, I don't want to. I don't want to be freaking Lieutenant Dan. I'd rather. I'd rather you eat my head and I die. Yeah. Like I like running, bruh. No offense to people with no legs. You know what? I probably would be okay with no legs because I would have those razor blade legs, and then I would be in the Special Olympics and I would win a medal. I've always well, that guy got to be in the real Olympics. Nah, you know that in the real Olympics. The guy with the razor fate. The one that killed his wife. He just got out, actually. <laughs> he did. He did do it, though, right? Well, he definitely did it. The question is on purpose. Whether or not. Oh, he did it on purpose. I didn't follow that at all because it didn't even seem worth the time of trying to see his point of view. Like, can you have you have you ever slept in bed with somebody? And then in yep. the middle of the night, you wake up and they're not there, and you hear a noise yep, in the bathroom. And you're like, "But it could be a burglar. Right. Maybe they've already killed the person who's next to me, and now they're robbing my toothpaste. Oh, sure. Let me just fire off a couple uh, of shots. Yeah, that's where I, I stash the money in the toothpaste bowl. <laughs> right. Yeah. If I, uh, well, you said you're sober. If I ever get like a little high and I'm before bed, all of a sudden I my brain for some reason has no ability to know when sounds are not threatening like the same basic sounds yeah. that i was hearing an hour before i got high are now so i'm like oh that's definitely some grizzly bear about to kill me or something just completely irrational i mean in orange county it makes sense after all the other things that have been attacking <laughs> no, you in your life so you're saying bears. maybe oscar pistorius isn't a murderer maybe he was just stoked. <laughs> do you want to see something really scary what show him the fire boy so I saw an article today where there's this kid. He got caught. He got on fire when he was six. And they burn his face. He's like all melted, like Freddy Krueger. It's kerosene. Oh yeah, but guess what? Now he's a firefighter, and that is creepy as hell. But it's all. Don't even try and tell me that that guy is not a guy that sets fire to cats and dogs and people when you're not looking. That dude was an innocent boy who got like, oh yeah, he's innocent. He poured ga kerosene all over himself and set himself on fire because he loves the flames. And now he's just so happens to be a firefighter. Yeah, right, dude. He lives in the fire. He lives for the fire. He loves the fire. I love stories like this where someone turn like uses some tragedy for some amazing purpose. I think that's badass. Wait, you think that he's n he really is fighting fires? Is he? How old is he? Is he like a grown man? Yeah, I think he's in his 20s now. 29. There he's 29. Go. He doesn't look a day over. <laughs> you can't tell. Oh, that's, oh, I man. think that's so cool. Look at that photo. I mean, if you're coming to save me, I don't know, man. Maybe just let me flame up. I feel like, that's the, I feel like that's terrifying. the guy I want to save me. I, well, What would you rather? That guy coming towards you or a shark? <laughs> this guy. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you, if you're... You in see the innocence in this guy's eyes? Because I, all I see is hell yeah he's bringing the so rat cool dude when you ain't looking he sets fire to people for sure. <laughs> if you're in cool. a fire you would at least know this guy knows what he's talking about yeah and <laughs> right good point but it's like <laughs> does he like watching people be burnt there is some, i'm sorry i don't trust him there is I've some correlation am i a bad guy maybe yeah probably there talk is about some... facing your fear that's the most badass thing i've ever seen there are arsonist uh, firefighters never it like that there are arsonist firefighters, right? They That's do, what I'm they saying. They are exposed from time really? to time. Yeah. yeah see, oh, like see? cops too? Yeah. Everybody knows cops. In line are, between wait. the criminals and the Right. I've never cops, actually say. heard thought of that, that firefighters do the same thing as yes. cops. Of like a corrupt, I've never thought what of about? a corrupt you never saw, firefighter. You never, saw, you never saw blow back draft. Back draft. Back draft. No. Thank you, Michael. You never saw blow back draft? No. Dude, black backdraft. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I don't care. <laughs> Spoiler alert! One of the now guys black, is a now freaking... black draft. I did see. <laughs> black draft. <laughs> Blow back. Yeah, one of the guys is a pyro, and he loves watching things burn. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And he knows how to make things burn, and he knows how to make a blowback. That's why the movie's called Blowback. Oh, okay. Yeah. Backdraft. Backdraft. I mean. <laughs> Because he knows how to make a backdraft. Uh-huh. And he is, he is a pyro. There we go. Firefighter arson is a persistent phenomenon involving a very small minority, of course, of firefighters who are also active arsonists. Whoa. Roughly 100 U.S. firefighters are convicted of arson. Convicted. 
Oh. And you know those guys look out for each all, other. In all, uh, that all guy's of history? Face. Or? Every year, 100 oh, firefighters year. get convicted. Pyro. In the, I've never thought pyro. about that mm-hmm. before. A corrupt firefighter. Pyro in the dictionary. I see yeah. a lot of them face. on Hinge, the firefighters. Wait, you've met a guy on Hinge? No, I see a lot of firefighters on Hinge. You're on Hinge? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go on Raya. Those are the guys I'm trying to stay away from. What's wrong with Raya, guys? They like yeah, they have, won't let me on. They have spray tans. Oh, that's why they won't let me on. <laughs> I think my ex-wife signed me up to Ryan and it won't ever accept me. I think maybe because she like probably put some stuff in there that was like... <laughs> I don't want to date a celebrity, <laughs> that's why. I don't, yeah. Or like someone in my industry or something. I never got to go on there, so I don't know what it's like. You're not missing anything. I was on there for you like... promise? I promise. It sounds cool. Now also... Like Whitney the- Cummings was on there at one point. I'm <laughs> like, man, I re- always wanted to date her. Yeah. Oh, really? Why don't yeah. you just message her? She, I have nowhere. She doesn't want to date me. Oh, okay. I look like a like bath salts guy. So. Oh, well, maybe you're selling she yourself short. She likes tattoos with just a couple of <laughs> That's so funny. I might have got a, I might have got a couple too but many. But just a couple. Yeah. She wants like a, like a Bieber tattoo guy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. She's like, yeah. I don't but say. wait, then uh, she's broken my heart several times. Oh, really? You yeah. love her? A little bit. Oh, that's nice. Wait, so because all my guy <laughs> friends meet their girlfriends or girls on Instagram, but yeah. I don't. Uh, their only guys in mine have private profiles. And so I can't see Suspicious. anything about them. And so Why I'm are they just, private? I don't know. Probably because they, they, have, they probably have a normal job. If I didn't have, if I wasn't a comedian, I wouldn't even have Instagram at all. Right. Why? Because I just want to live life without it. Like I'd want my brain to go back to seventh grade. You're a smart person. I would just like that. I would really love that I'd to like not attention. be on my phone ever. Yeah. I don't enjoy posting either. You know. Not even when you make a funny bit. Not really. It's more like I like just doing it in person. So like I don't like the internet aspect of it. I just hired someone to do this for me because I need to do it. Oh wow! Yeah, to to like post for yeah. me and like cut up clips and stuff. I guess I'm cutting up clips. There's no way I'm capable of doing that. Or posting it though. I'm just like, you know. What about if it does well? Does that feel good? <laughs> it feels fine, I guess, because it's like I did create it in the work and yeah. stuff. But I still, I just don't like the idea of like being online. I'm like, I want to live in real life. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I I can't relate. I just want to live in social. And media it feels world. like crack, like too, on there. I'm like, why am I checking this? I don't. What is this? This is fake. This isn't real life. Well, sometimes there's like cute kittens and stuff. Like I just discovered these weird kittens that have real big ears and weird, <laughs> weird fur and i guess they're russian yeah i don't really like russian stuff because i don't trust like russia uh-huh not, be- not because of like politics or anything i just don't yeah like, I-, I got some russian friends and they're so they're so heavy you know what i mean because they like grew up in some weird oh stuff. yeah and i'm just like you guys would like rob me if there wasn't any police around like, <laughs> you guys would foot stop me if i like we got in a fight and i fell over you would foot stop me and foot stomping people are bad people <laughs> You know what I mean? Like if I They're get your fight, friends, though. Yeah, but it's at the gym friends. So oh, okay, gym friends. Fighter friends are different. Yeah, I I do like the animals on there. I like yeah. I like the babies. I like the cooking I videos. I really like babies. I love babies. Babies, babies. are like unsolicited dick pics. To I hope I get... I want to get pregnant. I feel like it's just like some hideous blob, and so is your penis. <gasps> yeah. You know? Like, people send me stuff. Like, people go, I think it's really... Like uh, inspirational that you talk about being bisexual, and I go, "Oh, thanks, man." And then anus, and I'm like, "Dude, really? Like, I thought it was inspirational." Oh, you don't want to see a butthole? Nah. Okay. More than ever now. Do, right. do you? Or your penis? What? Do, do you want to see a butthole? Um, no, Nobody no. Really. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I, we well, got there, we got there from babies, right? Yeah, because babies is the same thing. As a butthole. Have you see my baby? And I'm like, yeah, it's, yes, it's exactly the same as your butthole. Like, unless you've got a real cute baby, but that's pretty rare. Most of your babies are like Paris Hilton babies with your weird ass heads <gasps> and stuff. Oh my God, I like, got so mad. See, don't be flexing on that baby. No, like, don't show that to me. Uh, I hated the internet. I was like, uh, the, you like that baby? I like that baby. You I think like that baby. He's a beautiful child of God. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, God is pretty mean for making that head that big. I love him. I think he's adorable. And when <laughs> I saw the whole internet going at him, I was like, see, that 
turns me into like want to be a vigilante where I was like, I want to go to these people, these people. Well, for the record, I didn't make a comment. Dang, what's up with your baby's head? <laughs> well, that's good. I didn't say anything. I, I don't do you. that. Thank you for yeah, doing that. Yeah, I don't jump on the yeah. social media to bash people. Yeah, and, I always But I'm just saying, crazy. did my brain go, dang, what's up with that kid's head? <laughs> yeah. I don't well, necessarily believe that you really like her kid's head. I think yeah. he's just afraid that if he thinks about you very hard, your head will explode. No, Real I think talk, he's Michael. so cute. I think he's so cute. What's so cute about him? How I just think he's is? adorable. Yeah, I like his you know big... What? You I like have his, an angle. I like his big ass head. I think I got he's a, so cute. I got a bald cat and he has little arms. And he's yeah. like got a round belly. I think he's adorable. Yeah. But you, if you go... Like, I remember one time I had a dog, like a French bulldog a long time ago. And, you know, he didn't breathe very good and stuff. And he was, like, super smushed in guy. And I had these guys come over to renovate my bathroom. And one of the guys, he was, like, a you know, I mean, a, a dude's dude. And he was, like, oh, is that your dog? And I was, like, yeah, it's my dog. He's, like, only a face a mother could love, eh? And I was, like, I'll kill what are you, you talking about? <laughs> He's freaking adorable. <laughs> a head that a mutt, like everyone would love that head. Yeah. Look at his little snarky face. And then I realized that maybe he is hideous from a certain angle. No, because I just feel like we pay, we place way too much focus on looks. Yeah. Of everything. I'm like, just because you think that's not beautiful doesn't mean I don't think it's beautiful. I think well, I'm hideous and it's like half the battle of like wanting to live. What? Like, I feel like if I was more, if I wasn't so. Why uh, do you say that about yourself? Because I got, I was like, I went, I was like, I had hair and I was like, not wrinkly and old. And I was like, I thought I was good looking. It's kind of like when a good looking girl gets old and fat, you know, like that's what kind of happened to me. But that's And now I'm like in the mirror, I'm like, really? Like, who's going to love this head? Oh, that's so heartbreaking. I know. Cause it's that but we all age. It's a privilege to age. You're not saying I, I think it's easy either. Like, I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I look different. I don't want to date any comedians or, like, comedian. any celebrities. I thought you were. I'm trying to be, but I'm not very oh. good at it. Wait, when did you start? Like, four years ago. Oh, really? And yeah. do you like it? I love it. Well, you I, have mean, a lot I tell of, you what, you no matter what stories. happens in my comedy career, I'm not going to quit. What is that? Who quits? You have a wow. lot of stories to tell. Somebody just told me about somebody that's successful in comedy that quit. Oh Who? my god, I'm not saying it. You tell me after. You are. I cannot believe that you quit. That is just. Maybe you didn't. You're hot. You bullshit. You lied. If you don't, if you quit now, you were never in it for the right reasons. No, that's not true. Sometimes you evolve. Your soul moves on to something else. You be, you, in 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 like eight years only eight years yeah thank yeah you. i'm already past eight years yeah you haven't paid but if i you know the deal 10 years at least to know what your full potential is yeah as a guy that's been good at something 10 years that of 10 years in skateboarding and then i was good at skateboarding 10 years in radio i was good at in radio like i yeah, don't I'm expect 11. anything like what the what's a stupid book a thousand hour thing uh, the Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours thing. Thank yeah. you, only educated person on this show. But if I, I've read it, if I quit tomorrow, I would not, not feel show, any guilt. What's that? You know, if I wanted to quit tomorrow, I wouldn't feel any guilt. Okay, well, I see your Cause, angle. Because if I wanted to quit, I would be like, oh, that's just, it just feels right. Not like, I want to quit because I don't, da, 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 I don't think, you know, I'd be like, because there's something else I want to do probably is okay. why I would quit, you know? Okay. I just feel like when you put in that amount of work and then you have like a fan base that follows you and you're like I'm trying creating to, now I want stuff to know who this is. Eight and then years you just leave famous? it. It's like, you don't know how good you could be. Yeah. You haven't, you haven't given it and you only got one life. I mean, sure. Spirit world. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be selling tickets to the comedy store. <laughs> but right now here, you got that chance. Like, and, the, and then the opportunities you had, nobody's got. And you're going to quit now? Shame. You should walk the streets naked and we should throw stuff at There are, but then you see some people in comedy, though, where you're like, you should have quit a while ago. You've been at this, brother. You've been at this <laughs> for 15 Wait. years. And Two, Okay, let me say this, though. Do you think that some people in comedy, because this is only from a guy that's new, some people look like, like as a guy that's really tried to be good at things, 
watching how they go about life. They're not really trying. It's more of a social thing. That's true. Like you go, you smoke your cigarettes, you yeah. hang out in the back, you got your buddies. Yeah. But like, are you really afterwards, are you writing stuff? Are you like, what did I do wrong? What can I do better? Next week, I'm going to come back with a vengeance. Like, yeah. I don't see that in a lot of comics. Yeah. I see it as like a, you're laid back on stage, you're laid back off stage. Like yeah. you're drinking beers until four in the morning with your buddies afterwards. Yeah. I'm like, it's a sport, baby. Yeah. Like, if I go home, like if I'm trying to get jacked at the gym, like I don't like do bumps until four in the morning. Yeah. I go to bed early because I got to get my body rest so I, I can be in a, a, a beast yeah. in the morning. Well, it is interesting because like in your 20s, you're like, oh, this is so, look at this wild, crazy thing I'm doing. And then in your 30s, you're like, uh, this is my real life. Like if I don't uh, sink or right. swim, baby, right. how am I going to pay my bills? Right, paying bills. I just yeah. think... When I hear, there's so many people that are so hardcore in comedy that they made me feel not worthy for the first couple of years. People are like, I'm sleeping in my car, I'm staying in my friend's yes, house, and I'm totally like, dude, these guys are in the trenches. Like, you this give is, up everything for and they're, it. And they're men. This is like, when I'm a skateboarder, I was a kid, like, yeah. so we were like, I was staying at my mom's house. Like, yeah. so what? Like, your mom right. gave you food and stuff, and then you're like a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman and you're like sleeping in your car and driving to some city to try and get a gig and you're doing three minutes set and nobody cares and you come back again and again and again like i respect the hell out of those people for that and it's like when you're shining and you quit i'm just like well there, i'm sure there's more to the story yep yeah you're right i'm being a dick no which you're is, not being a is, dick which is nothing new to me <laughs> speaking of stand-up you just released your first special Yes, I did. Congratulations on oh, that. thank you. On Veep. Yeah, on Veep. So it's Live Nation's new streaming platform. It's the Madden Brothers, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, Brad Williams put his special out there as well, right? Yeah, yeah and Catherine Ryan, David Cross is doing one. Um, oh, that's cool. Reggie Watts. There's some other people, like their first round of people, but I know a lot of other people are about to be doing specials with them. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience. I'm really proud of it. Is like the you know your best. They always say like your first hour special is the sum of your first ten years, hmm. um, and then the next one comes a lot quicker because obviously you know how to write better. Yeah. Right. Well, that's um, always the cliche about like bands making albums is you have your whole life to write your first yes, album, and then three, yeah, and then three months to write your second album. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm really proud of it and happy with how it came out. So it's been really fun. Well, good. Yeah. Are you excited about putting that stuff? behind you yeah totally i'm so happy to put it behind me like do you feel like sometimes you gotta like crawl into your old skin to do jokes that you've been doing for a while for a, for a special yeah definitely i mean i was on i was on the road last year the entire year three weekends out of the month i was um touring with anthony jesselnik and um, he's the funniest person in the world to me <laughs> yeah he really is he talk about someone who puts is so much thought and precision to every joke because he basically does like one-liners or yeah. short or not all of them one-liners but shorter jokes so it takes him way longer to build an hour than right. it would someone else so he'll he really only tours like every three or four years so it's sort of a bigger deal when he does it yeah. not especially compared to now where people just try to put out a special a year maybe when it's not totally ready to yeah. put out you know yeah i think so. he's amazing yeah, he is amazing. Yeah. Um, and then I was touring with Ron Funches, and I had my own date, so it was just so much touring and um, the years before that, too. And so I was just so ready by the end to just be done and start over um, on a new hour and see where I'm at creatively now. How's that feel? It's good. It's really fun. Yeah. I'm really... I, I feel free of those jokes. It feels great to be working on new stuff. Yeah, well, I only just started following you. I'm, I'm new, and I was like, wow, you're a beast. Oh, thank you. I think you're incredibly funny. Oh, that's so nice. I thank remember you. remember when you were on, we did a thing together. Yeah, I, I like, didn't get to see your set because I was coming from another thing. I was awesome, trust me. Really? I believe I you, remember, yeah. I remember, I hit my head the other day. I don't know what That I was a crazy it. show. Yeah. I did not know what that was going to be when I walked into it. The girl before me got her punched in the and I was like, yeah, no yeah. one, if I, I was like, if anyone tries to punch me in the going down no but that's yeah, you're gonna call your brother that's <laughs> she loves but she refuses to not get punched in <laughs> i love her yeah. she's, she's she's the best she's great yeah 
It was by another girl, in case anyone's worried. Yeah, no, she's not. No dudes are allowed. But then, yeah, which but makes girls okay. are allowed to punch you in the penis. I've been punching the dick a couple of times there, and one time not so bad, and then two times real bad. Oh. One time, my mistress. That sounds weird. Yep. She's a friend of mine who's a mistress who came on the show a long time ago, and Tully was like, "Jason, you like pain? You would probably like being uh, seeing a dominatrix." Well. And I was like, maybe. And then I went. Turns out he was right. I liked it, but not like <laughs> I'm not like in there all the time. But I do. I did like it. But then we became friends. And then she was like, "I'm in town." And I was like, "Come see the riff raff." Oh, and, and she was there. And she was there, and I pulled dick punch out of the bucket. <laughs> oh. And I was like, "Who's gonna punch me in the dick?" And I was like, "There's a person in the audience that has given me, can't say it on here, but something something torture." Uh-huh. First word. Yeah, it's right. like a, like a like a the chicken, and then this other word is ball. I'm pretty <gasps> sure I can do that. Torture. And wow. so then I was like, I remember she did that to me, so she can do it. And then I realized afterwards, like, if you're gonna say she's a dominatrix and you're gonna put her on stage to punch you in the area, crush yeah. region, she's gonna do it right. Right. And it was I hit the ground did and my face was on the carpet and I was like so in pain that yeah. I couldn't use my hands to get my face oh, and the I missed carpet. that. I was like, really? Did you dead. go after me? No, that wasn't that night. Oh, yeah. oh. I was like, whoa, I missed a lot. No, I think that night I missed the punch buck thing, but I... I didn't I've been, choose... I've been taking the... my pants off a lot at the Riff Raff. Wow. Oh, you go every month? Every Yeah, every time. Oh, okay. Yeah. It used to be every week at another place, so... Oh, I I'm didn't know that. Yeah, I'm a regular. That was the first time I'd ever seen it. I was like, oh my God, what is yeah. this? And no, then I saw new. the punch right before I went on stage and I was like, I'm not picking for that bucket. Yeah, she's the best. But if you're new, if you're like, you're an established comedian. And whenever I see somebody who's a proper, you know what I mean? Established comedian is at the riffraff. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because like- he had been asking me for multiple months and I was on the road every time. And so we kind of booked it like a few months in advance. He's like, can you do this day? And I was like, I, I've... I have to make it to this one for for this guy that I keep saying this yeah. to. And when I yeah. rolled in, I was like, "What yeah. is this? This yeah. is crazy." Miranda Meadows, I should mention. Miranda is the she loves to get yeah. punched. I love I Miranda. Mean, at this point in your career, you probably almost never take your pants off on stage. Never taking my pants off, and um, if anyone tried to punch me, I'd kill him. So, or your brother would. <laughs> yeah. Hey, speaking of dating, I saw where uh, Sharon Stone. She follows me on Instagram. Wow. That's that I Sharon where Stone that... has been on. She said she gave an interview and she said she's been on dating apps. Damn and it. She, everybody that she meets, it seems great. She's like, she's like, I don't pretend I'm somebody else because everybody knows it's me anyway. But she's like, one guy seemed perfect. And then I met him and he literally had like injection marks all over him. She's like, I, I have the worst luck. But this is the year it's going to happen. You should DM her. What do you have to lose? Yeah, no, I've been denied before, so hey. <laughs> Would you date? Do you message? Yes, are I you did. wait? Are you on the apps? I was off for a, yeah. I'm but do you there. message the girls first? No, you're not allowed to. I'm not, I'm not on that one. I was only on. I was on Bumble. Oh yeah, I would never go on that one. I'm wait, like, what's I'm like, what's the point of being a woman? I'm not speaking first. What I got a tap dance for these fools? Okay, so what one are you on? I'm on Hinge. So I got to do that. No. So, you would, so you would never. Uh, no, I don't about mean for you. I mean to get. <laughs> Stop. Now, where are Stop. you and, and what is your username? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't. Let me clarify. I was if wondering. You're going, I'm going, I want to go to a respectable one that a girl thinks yes, is respectable, yeah, yeah. not no, to fucking. I can't be on. The, I can't do Christian more Nagel. than one, you know? And then also, like, I'm not going to message the guys first. Okay. You would never, ever, ever. Would you approach a guy in real life? Maybe. I'm trying to get better about that. I'm really shy. Mm. Like, uh, and that was like. All? I don't know. Well, I can tell you, I don't want to, like, hey, how's it going? One time there was a girl that was always making comments on me on Instagram. She was really hot. And I kept showing my friends and my boxing trainer was like, dude, she's into it. I was like, dude, no way. It's (laughs) it's not true. (laughs) And then my manager was like, you got to do it. She's into you. And I was like, okay, hey, would you want to get coffee? And she's like, I don't think that my boyfriend. And I was like, man, (laughs) you guys. I wasn't going to say I was not going to say anything. And now I feel like an idiot and a creep every time she ever talks to me now. I'm just like, no, yeah, thanks. Because I don't want to sit. I'm like, I tried to. I asked you for coffee. And, yeah. And you were just being nice. And then, I, of course, I couldn't help it. Oh, she was like a fan, but she had a boyfriend. I don't boyfriend. think she's a fan. I don't know what the hell she's. I don't, I don't know why she's nice to me. I still don't get it. She's probably a fan. But she's no just, sense. 
She uh. shares a lot of responsibility in that situation. If my wife was on some dude's Instagram going, oh, now that's a terrific <laughs> scarf, yeah. to the point where he might reasonably go, I think I should just ask her out on a date. Yeah. Like, that's partially on her as well. Yeah. Okay, well then. Of course it is. Stop playing with my emotions? Yes, yes. Okay, well then a couple people have done that lately. And I'm very sensitive right now, so get off me. <laughs> You guys stop doing that. I am because I'm trying to date because I'm like, oh, I want to get married and have children. Um, but I've just been so busy doing stand up, like trying to make it for so long. It's just like not been my focus. Yeah. And then all, um, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I guess I got to like participate in this. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I am going on a date tonight with a guy that um, was in the audience at one of my shows. But I saw him. He, mm. We were sitting next to each other without without ever talking mm. so i feel like i saw him as a person at least first before ba versus just being some private profile i can't see anything about them oh wait you saw him and then you saw him on the dating app no he messaged me on instagram oh okay but it oh, was yeah. like the guy that was sitting next so i had already seen him first and you were like thing. he's pretty hot <laughs> i think so i can't i think so do you th think that he needs to be for you to date him no well look i you seem pretty non-materialistic yeah well it's like i want to be attracted to the person but right. i, I so don't gotta be hot. No, it doesn't have to be like a lot of times like a very conventionally you know i don't need some six five like i don't if a guy six has five? abs if a guy Jesus. has an abs pick on in on hinge i swipe left because i'm like i don't like your personality if he has a six-pack if he has a picture of his abs. Oh, he's showing you. Yeah, I'm like, right, that's corny. Too into it. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. corny. Good point, yeah. good point. So I'm like, I wouldn't like your person. I wouldn't vibe with you. That just means you're dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? To, to, typically to maintain a six pack, most people need to be like in severe caloric. What are you talking about? Like bodybuilders are, are, bodybuilders, like when they do the shows, they're totally dehydrated. They like stop drinking okay. for like really, 48 hours. Of course pack. they do, yeah. But a lot of, but like if you're, if you're Jackson the, no, I know he does. I know he does. Pack. I'm pretty sure he could eat a cheeseburger and he'd still. Very often, let's face it, there's also a racial difference in people who have six packs. There's a lot. That was edgy. Well, it's, <laughs> I don't mind. I'll say there's a lot more. I know why guys that have six packs that don't, they're not dehydrated. There's, but they do, they are gym rats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some black dudes that just are able to get six packs without doing yeah, yeah, the work yeah. that most. No, I had a friend that was like a Olympic level wrestler and me and my other, he was a Samoan. So it was a Samoan guy and myself and we went to Pinkberry and he was like, he's like, dang dog, this is nasty. And I was like, nasty. I'm like, it's not the great, like, it's not the greatest candy in the world, but it's better than nothing when you're trying to make weight for a fight. And he was like, nah. -uh. And I'm like, well, what would you eat? He's like, Cold Stone or nothing. And I was like, oh, he's just a natural. He, but he had like crazy six packs. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, and both of us were like, dude, you just saying Cold Stone made both of us fatter. Yeah. Like, it's not fair. Yeah, some people are just genetically like yeah. that. I have a joke about this on the special, but it was like both my sister-in-laws were skinnier than me when they were nine months pregnant. What? <laughs> That's not cool. And they would just look so perfect and hot, like models. And I was just like, all right, yeah. It's the same as Whitney Cummings is like fit again. Your girl, you're you're loving your life. She's loving your life. It's gone. <laughs> what are you gonna do what's yeah. your special code again so we can check it out <laughs> we can move on <laughs> God, I hate you. it's called live from the big dog yeah yeah and people gotta go to veep veeps yeah, yeah if it's you don't get a veep you're not really getting comedy anymore because man those guys have got Cranking heavy out, hitters yeah. now yeah it's it's really fun um and if you want the link is in all my social media like instagram twitter everything which is just your name yes at Blair Saki. But if you go on there, you're going to talk to the person that runs it, not you. So don't send dick pics. <laughs> no, I run it. <laughs> okay, so send your dick pics. <laughs> don't send any dick pics. So I'll all kill the creepy you. guys in the audience, your, now you know you've totally got a shot. She's totally reading Send the your abs and your phone number and you will be in. If you have a public profile, we'll see. Oh, wow. Okay. Not if you send a dick pic, though. Right. Or abs. Yeah. What about like a gut? That's just so corny. 
But if you don't have abs and you're just like, what's up? Here's my, here's my, here's my flab abdominal section. No, that's just odd behavior. Right. Way to slide. Is there a tummy that I could show? <laughs> no. Just no body parts. Keep my shirt on. <laughs> yeah. What about a tank top? Is that getting too frisky or is it like sleeve? Just no pictures. Just hello is good. Right. 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 Yeah. Just try to learn like in for future. Yeah. Like, uh, don't. I've never seen anybody abs before. For just, just for well, I just think most men should have a female friend help them with their dating profile because so what about then if you don't have any female friends. Well, that's a you problem. Yeah, you I, gotta work I got on tons that. of female. Oh, okay, friends. good. I think so. Yeah, no, I do. I yeah. think so. <laughs> Set the check real quick. <laughs> I got a couple. All right. All right. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. I had a really fun time, especially learning about all your ferocious animal attacks. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to say. I'm glad you're still I... alive. Yeah, right. It's a fair thing to say. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back. There's more uh, patreon.com slash for a bunch of shows on there as well. Have a good one, everybody. Don't die. Don't die.